Ebola vaccine and the effect of this. And there was an article that was just published, actually, at Lancet. And the World Health Organization called this new Ebola vaccine a game changer that's going to really uh, change the whole uh, process of, of saving these men and women in uh, Africa from Ebola. And uh, we have actually one of the best and well, well-known um, infectious disease doctors, Dr. Leon Smith, who is the past chairman of medicine at St. Michael's Medical Center in New York and worked extremely closely with Dr. Fauci, and he's a world expert in this particular vaccine and Ebola. Uh, good morning, Dr. Smith, and thank you good, for being with us. Good morning, good morning. Very so, exciting morning. Yes. A so new, new vaccine. We just heard. Horizon. Yes, that's right. We just talked to Dr. Hill from Oxford, who is so excited, like yourself, about this particular yeah. vaccine. Um, you know, just to summarize where we started and where we are today, um, when Ebola started, nobody knew exactly what it's about. As old doctors, we saw reporters that went over there, came back with vaccine. There was a panic in the streets of New York and, and Detroit and in other places. How far have we come in this particular disease in the last six to nine months? I think the record speaks for itself. I mean, it's a record time, which uh, Tony and Fauci and the whole group came up with a vaccine that will pretty much eliminate uh, this disease from North Africa. You think this vaccine is almost 100% effective, even though the number of patients in the clinical trial are really small. But so far, well, it's promising. I, I think so. I think so. I think the guinea pig studies show a great uh, uh, changes in good antibody response. Um, and it, it's a virus, I think, that lends itself to a good vaccine. Uh, the AIDS virus does not, but the Ebola does. Um, do you know exactly, or did we ever find that the source of these uh, uh, virus and how it started and, and whether we're going to have any kind of recurrence in the, in the future once it's eradicated? Well, you know, it started many, many years ago in mean, little hamlets in Somalia. It was a different strain. It was not as lethal. But it has mutated over the years, and the strain they have now in West Africa is much more lethal. And it spread through the whole city, not just the hamlets. So it's a different virus, although it's the same virus. And, uh, and so... so um where are we going with this, uh, and, and who would be a good candidate for this vaccine? Uh, are we, is it going to be available to the whole country? Are they going to be selective about who they're going to vaccinate? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, not on, I'm not in touch with Dr. Fauci and his group, so I don't know what they plan on doing. Um, they may put those at risk first to get the vaccine and uh, have a control group of some sort. Right. I'm not sure what they're going to do. Dr. That'll Smith, be up, up, to, up to the epidemiologist absolutely. to design the experiment. Um, I think the big thing in Michelle or anything else is burying the bodies right away. That helps a lot. <laughs>